Emma and Steve here from Showrooms Online and today we're at Taylor Wimpy Miller's Reach in Stone in Staffordshire. Now we're here to see two show homes. This one here is the Haddenham. Now we've got the Haddenham on the channel at the moment but it's a view home so we thought we'd bring one with some furniture in it. Um, but isn't it a handsome looking house? It's a real good thoroughbred this house type as well. Um, comes from the pre-merger days it, look at the detail on it got a lovely bay window it's a very cute looking house you can see that yellow that yellow brickwork under the windows there just adds that extra bit of definition to the house without further ado let's go and take a look hello emma hello welcome to the haddenham at miller's reach in stone in staffordshire yes the haddenham is a four bedroomed house isn't it, it? Is. beautiful yes, four it bedroom is. house and as we go around the review, I will tell you a little bit more about the Haddenham because I know quite a lot about the Haddenham. Mm. Okay, so it's a lovely four bed house, a lovely development as well here. It is. The other side of this wall we've got the garage. It has, yeah. Have we? Yes. yes, an integral garage. Right, and we are reverse to plan, so let's start in the lounge. It's a nice glass door there. I do like the bay yeah. on the Haddenham, very, very nice. Right. Now the only we've we've actually the only Haddenham we have had on is the view home at Marsden Gate, yeah. which is which is which is so this is why we've decided to get one with some yes. furniture in it. Absolutely. Right, dimensions in here five meters sixty two by three meters forty four. It's a good size lane lounge. It's a very yeah. traditional solid house type. No, yes, it? it's a traditional yeah. design and I will what tell you why soon. Mirror. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I love that. And then that's very nice with finish. Quite simple actually in here. Isn't oh, it? and it's almost very Christmassy as well. Is it? Look at the antlers. <laughs> <laughs> and that is one big hole. What that? Well, we are in what December. It, what is that? It's some kind of a, a carved horn. horn yeah. Yeah. Right. So that's the beautiful lounge and through. There's a good the size. Kitchen and dining. This is nice, isn't it? Kind of country chic. Yeah. I do like this very much. It's very much my style. Right, let's have a look what we've got then in this kitchen. So this is your fridge freezer. There we go. So that's on the end. Plenty of cupboard space. Now this house has a separate utility, so we'll get there in a minute. So we're not likely to find washer and dryer in this part place. it's a big site it's a big kitchen Plenty lots of, of cupboards like yeah a lot that's a full run isn't it yeah. yeah okay so you've got your oven oven and grill there then so we've got zanussi appliances yes. gas hob with four burners yes. very nice that's nice to see a gas hob we're obviously seeing more and more oven. electric cookers aren't we sorry ovens Hobbs. Electric hobs, yes, oh, we are. Cool. Well, we have in the last week or two, anyway. That's yes, my, that's my stokey coming out. You've got a bank of drawers. Here we go. Right. So that will be the dishwasher there. Full sized. Very nice. One and a half bowl sink. And that super big window there so yeah. you can look outside. There's some blackbird fur there. And a bit of a scratch about. There we go. So, dimensions for the kitchen area, 4 metres 21 by 3 metres. It's actually a very wide kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. Plenty of room. So the Haddenham, what I know about it, is it's quite, it's quite an old house type, but it's got a heritage. When, before Taylor Wimpy um, they merged, this was a design by Midland and General Homes, and I think it was called the Horton. And it's nice to see they've kept it. They've changed outside a little bit. But I'll put a picture, should be flashing up right now, of what it used to look like. But it's a good, traditional, classic house type. But I think they've taken some walls out though, to open plan it up a bit. Yeah. Well, they've, they've modernised it, haven't yeah. they? Brought it up to date. Yeah. I do like this kind of dining area. I like the bench. But I love the wallpaper. Now, my very good friend Jade would absolutely love that. Do you know why? Does she like tat? Mm. Well, she likes the country cottage thing, just like I do, yeah. but she likes particularly 
emigrant water. I don't know if any other show owners on the line That's viewers it. who are watching it at the moment think the same as me. A hell of a lot of dust in. That's water. But it's not real, it's wallpaper. Yeah. Well, it's a mural, isn't it? Yeah. And I, I think it's absolutely beautiful. And that's complemented by that radiator cover too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, it's, it, it's all with the kind of country sheet, yeah. which is a style that I do like. Right, this dining area has got dimensions all of its own, so it's 3 metres 34 by 3 metres 30. I love the rocking chair too. Right, so here you've got French doors to the garden. And also there's a door to the hall and a door to the utility, yeah. so you can kind of go all the way around. So let's take a little look in the utility. And that's the sort of thing you used to get with traditional layouts, yeah. isn't it? So the utility, whoo, look at here. Yeah. That's a super-sized utility. Shall we open some doors? Yeah, let's see what's in here. Right, dimensions, hang on a sec. 3 metres 30 by 1 metre 73. Yeah. So, plenty of cupboard space. And presumably, these cupboards could be replaced yeah, by with, integrated appliances yeah. if you wanted. Doesn't look... Oh, there you go. So that's a washer and dryer. So you could wash and dryer, but, but you could get them separately. You've got so yeah. many cupboards here, yeah. You could have your tub or dryer, you could have your washing machine next to it. Yeah. And a lovely the sink too. Yeah, I mean you could even have cupboards above if you wanted, if you've got more things. But this is such a good utility room. You've got your door there to the uh, to the rear garden, you can have your clothes there and your dog bed, your well is your coats yeah. hanging up. Plenty of room for everything. A really good size utility room. I like that very much. Lovely kitchen, isn't it? It is actually. It's a good. Do you know? Do you know it's, you? It, it feels very homely. When you walk into houses and you know they've got a bit of a heritage behind them, the design, you feel it, don't you? You can feel actually the traditional layout of it all. Well, that makes sense to me. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Right. So back into the hall then. Is there a light? It's on the other side. That's actually, no. uh, it's on the other side of there, which it should actually be oh, there. there it would be helpful if it was there. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah. So downstairs cloakroom there, and it's tucked in under yeah, the stairs. Yeah, it's kind of cute. It's, you know, it's just got the little volume in the stairs yeah. just peeping up there. Very nice. But also we've got a really decent under stair area there. Yeah, Do you know, yeah. have you seen those on, on social media? Of all them units that they build, them sliding units. Yes, in I have there. seen those. That things. is just crying out for yeah. that, there, isn't it? They're very, very popular now. Yeah. But, I mean, you, it's not really the sort of thing you can buy. You've got to have them made, haven't you? Yeah. But a super way to make the most of that space. Otherwise, you just kick your shoes off. That's it. The dog's got his bed under there. So let's head upstairs. So we're upstairs in the house of them, Emma. Yes, first floor. Right. So. I think if we start round this way then. It's got a big landing, look at it, look yeah. at that. It's lovely, isn't it? It's got some space. A lot of space. Right, we've got bedroom two first of all then, so that's just over the four metres, just a smidge. By bedroom three... two has got an en suite? Uh, yes, it has. Ooh, I don't you know, I'm going to have to check the original design. 56. I'm going to have to check the original design out there. There's some doors there yeah. as well. So, let's have a look. So we've got a wardrobe in there, yeah. which is nice. But what like the original the original pre-design had it had two windows exactly the same but that's nice they can't kind of let a lot of light in here yeah i quite like this as well yeah what could you put in there tv tv perfect isn't it yeah have some shelves you can yeah and a tv built into it various uh, i think you don't get a 32 in there though yeah perfectly adequate yeah right well you show the viewers the uh, the ensuite that's a lovely piece of furniture I'll come back to You'll that. Have to show, yeah, show the so the ensuite, it's a decent size. It's got a window to the side there, which is really nice. Um, really, just trying to look at the. Uh, okay, so you've got a pedestal. Yeah. Um, basin. I can't quite work out the make it the sanitary wear, but you've also got a walk-in shower there. Yeah. Um, a step up into the shower. But well, you can walk in it though. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe could um, have done with a light in the shower. Do you yeah, think? yeah, it's, yeah. It's probably. a little bit. A little bit dark in here, yeah. so maybe a light just up there. But we've got two. Well, we've got two down lights. It's very close together. Yeah. You can just see there, guys. Uh, yeah, that would have just made that a little bit, bit different, yeah. won't it? Show the viewers this beautiful piece of furniture. I mm. wonder where the interior designer got that from. It's absolutely lovely. I it like looks like that. it's been upscaled. Upcycled, you mean? That's the word. <laughs> Upscaled. It's not any bigger. <laughs> right. So. 
You know you love I know. when I get it wrong. Back on the landing then, you've got a cupboard here with your cylinder, but it's got a shelf above. Do you remember when we used to call that the tank in our education? I know, yeah. yes. Right, so this is bedroom three then. So look at the look at the, the lampshade, it's epic. That's massive, isn't it? Yeah. So we're at the back. We're over the utility room here, yes. aren't we? And partially the garage. Yeah. So bedroom three. 3 metres 27 by 2 metres 99. So that's just 1 mil under 3 metres. Yeah. That's accuracy for you, isn't it? Oh, look. They've painted the headboard on. You've yeah. kind of got this bohemian theme yeah. running through. Maybe that's why you've kind of got the, you know, the hand-painted furniture in the other room. I do yeah. like it. Ah, that's I got, I got it. it. I've got it. So that's I'm trying to work out the theme. Yeah. So that's why the lampshade. Some are a little high, a little low. Right. Bowman Rhapsody. Okay. Full size garden. Didn't we see a garden like this the other day? Um. We yes. Did. Sort of. Yeah. But it's nice. What do we know about Miller's Reach? Well, it, I tell you what, it's it's. I think they're on the last phase now, so we're a bit late coming to this. But all the same, these house types are available on all sites. Yeah. Um, Stone is a lovely little market town. It has a farmers market on a Saturday. It's got an Aldi just up the road there, yeah. and a Morrison's. It's. I tell you what, a great transport links to the motorway, yeah. to Stafford, and to Stoke. You can't argue it's with that. It's perfectly placed, isn't yeah. it, Stone? I and I like and. Do you know, we go to a lot of places and there's something really, really nice and quaint about stone. It's got that high street as well. Sorry, I don't mean to... Uh, I just spotted that. I wanted to have a little look. How lovely is that? A mirror. You know what I'm like for looking at the accessories. Always like to have a bit of a look at things. Do you know, oh. I think this could be a double bedroom as well. Yeah. I've got a single bed in it, but you could fit a double. Right, what's next? So this is your main bathroom. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, dimensions. So we don't have a shower in here, but we have the two taps. I'm looking at the, ah, I've sussed it out, Twyford sanitary yeah. wear. I suppose it's like everything. You could fit a, you could have a shower in here yeah, if you wanted. Could. Yeah. yeah, easy enough to do. I'm going to pull the door to, Steve, because there's a door behind the door. Okay, well, what is in the door behind the door? Okay. Um, it's a cupboard. But I do think it would be better with that door if the handle was more on this side and the door's kind of touched, really. Um, well, do you think the door, the door should open that way? No, I think it's fine how the door opens. It's this door here. It's got, you've got to kind of go behind it. Just a detail. These are nice, aren't they? They are. And they put on the wall well. Yeah, I like those. Let me just have a little escape room back there for you, viewers. There we go. Right. So at the rear again then, over the kitchen, bedroom four. Um, dimensions, two metres 99 yeah. by two metres 78. Now this is a very nice desk, just look at it. Made out of old bits of wood. Yeah, very nice detail. A lot of craftsmanship actually in that though, isn't there? Yeah. Lovely, I like that. I could probably make something like that. So again, they've got a single bed in here, but you could fit a a double bed in if you wanted to. Yeah. If you're small people have turned into teenagers and want themselves a double bed. Or turn into a study. Yeah. Very, very nice. This is good, isn't it? You can have a piece of furniture here, a chair, a reading chair. Right. Last but not least then bedroom one. Ooh. So bedroom one has two windows as two well, windows. which is almost symmetrical with the other room. Yes. Lots of wardrobes. Now they possibly are an upgrade. You need to speak to your sales negotiator. So this wardrobe has got the uh, bought the the volume in the stairs, in it. But you've got a good, you got a TV point there and a socket, so you could put your TV in it. <laughs> Does that mean that's where you can put your TV? Yeah, it's perfect, actually, isn't it? And then you can shut the doors, yeah. hide your TV yes, away. Yes, that's it. Yes. Right, some dimensions, just over the four meters by three meters seventy-seven in here, and it's got an ensuite. So plenty of wardrobe space. Because I always do say that. For a couple, you need plenty of wardrobes because women tend to need more wardrobe space than men on the whole. So you've got to have somewhere to put your clothes. Plenty of room here at the bottom of the bed. I mean, they've got an ottoman, but you could even have a little bench, something to sit on. Lots of room for additional furniture around the bed. So yeah, we have got two wardrobes, haven't we? We have plenty of wardrobe yeah, space. Yeah, definitely. But it's got an ensuite. 
which I'm in now. Oh, very nice. Very nicely done. Um, you got what a little window, side, little window to the side. Now, I know a lot of developers don't bother putting the window on the side, but I think it just gives that little bit of extra light, I, I doesn't it? I think it's quite nice to have natural light. Yeah. So that sometimes you, you haven't always got to put the light on. And you can just open the window as well. Yeah. I like which that. Which is always good in a bathroom, isn't it? And nice definition in the tiles in the um, in the shower room there as well. So that's a slightly bigger shower than the other ensuite, would you say? Yeah. Just not by much, but yeah. still a good size. Well, wow. the Haddenham. Mm. Very nice. The Haddenham by Taylor Wimpy at Miller's Reach in Stone in Staffordshire. Yes. Great house type, love it. Um, nice to see some furniture in one. Yeah, and two en suites, always a bonus. You can't go yeah. wrong with that. I'm going to check the floor plan of that out to see if that was always like that um, from the original one. And maybe I'll um, post it up on the Facebook page what the original one looked like. And I love the kitchen, particularly that wallpaper. I love yeah. it. It's a Beautifully good interior design. traditional yeah. layout. Very, very now, nice. we have got a great Taylor Wimpy playlist on our YouTube channel. So have a look at that. You'll see lots of different house types on there. Mm. Um, but I will put all the details of this particular house type and this development in the description box down below, so check that out. Also, if you've enjoyed this video and you've found it useful, please give us a, a Christmas thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. And uh, why don't you leave us a review for Christmas? Tell us why you yeah. like watching showrooms online. Yeah. That's really important you guys do that. But we will catch you on our next video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>